uh, what if we had a date playing Saturn's Battle Dodo mode together? <laughs> That'd be funny. I will choose the Aerospray MG while you choose the Blaster. <laughs> what if we hugged on Salt Spray Rig? Do you remember the Battle Dojo mode from the original Splatoon? Uh, hopefully you do, or that would be pretty sad. Uh, remember to subscribe! <laughs> this unique offline mode was the local multiplayer found in the game. Two players will split out in a 1 vs 1 match. The goal is to get to 30 points, or if the player with the most points at the end of 5 minutes wins. You get points by shooting balloons down in various places on the stage. These balloons spawn in numbers. Once all the balloons are popped, a new area is selected. New balloons will spawn in over amount of time. Before we go into talking about more of the mode, let's talk about the unique controls. Player 1 uses the Wii U gamepad, while someone else uses the TV. Player 2 who is on the TV can use a bunch of controls, such as the Wii U Pro Controller and the Wii Classic Controller. But wait! The Wii Classic Controllers don't have any motion controls to play Splatoon with. This is official. Nintendo told you to play like this if you want gyro controls in this mode. Tie up your Classic uh, Controller or Classic Controller Pro to a Wii Remote together. Hold down on the D-pad and press B while holding the ZR and ZR buttons on the Player 2 Controller setup screen. And there you have it! Player 2 now has gyro controls. I just can't believe Nintendo just said tie the controls together to make this mess of a creation. But hey, it works pretty well overall. What is funnier, you could even see this controller type in one of the second scrolls inside of the game. The weapons you can choose from are all from pre-selected kits, which includes a main weapon and a sub-weapon. These are Splat Shot with the Burst Bomb, Splat Roller with the Suction Bomb, Splat Charger with the Splat Bomb, Blaster with the Disruptor, Jet Sculpture with the Splash Wall, Aerospray MG with the Seeker, Classic Squiffer with the Point Sensor, Rapid Blaster with the Ink Mine. For special weapons and other abilities, these can be found in random cans on each of the stages. Break a crate and collect a can to get a random weapon. These abilities are the Bubbler Special, the Ink Strike Special, the Ink Zooker Special, Point Sensor at the Rival, Disruptor at the Revival, Full Power Up, Super Jump which swaps the players and the sprinkler. This ability is just the banana from Mario Kart. And for each balloon burst, one point is given to the player. The point doubles when there is one minute left on the game timer. Splashing the opponent will reduce the other player's points too. There are five stages to play from Urgent Underpass, Walleye Warehouse, Silk Spray Rig, Arana Mall, Black Belly Skate Park, Weirdly enough, the urgent underpass map in Battle Dojo is the older version. During the 2.0 update for Splatoon, the stage has a huge revamp from its layout. Pretty good if you still wanted to play on the OG map either way. Apparently during Splatfest, the stages in Battle Dojo also change into nighttime, which is a nice touch. This mode was in the original Splatoon, which never showed up ever again. Splatoon 2 really focused more on the online and local play with other players on their switches. This is due to the Switch's nature, for it being more of a portable console compared to the Wii U. With Splatoon 3 coming, I doubt we will see a Battle Dojo 2. While a local mode for the next Splatoon game would be cool, I just cannot see them doing that anymore. It will be likely a big mode like Salmon, which can be played rather than the multiplayer gameplay. So, do you remember the Battle Dojo mode? I personally really like this mode. It is pretty different from what we have seen from the entire of the Splatoon games. While the frame rate, that frame rate, can be sometimes pretty bad, I do recommend giving it a try with someone else if you have a Wii U sitting around somewhere. It is pretty cool. But for now, good night, sweet prince of a mode. The mode which I will never forget about. Thanks for watching. Comment down your memories with the Splatoon's Battle Dojo. Be sure to subscribe. Bye! Yes!